this place here and how on earth did I get here perhaps it's a dream or someone's played a trick and put a spell on me what a beautiful garden Listen, the pretty gurgling streams and singing birds in the trees full of blossom. Such colors and such perfumes and such a gentle sky. Hello there. Hello there. Surely someone must live here. But I see no one. I seem to be on an island. Oh, if only I could swim. There's a gate here. I'll knock. There's no reply. This is a fine situation. I don't know whether to laugh or to cry. Ye gods, what a tree that is! Its fruit is made of precious stones. I pick some just for myself. Surely they'll bring good fortune. Friends, you're joking. I've never seen you before. Look at me a moment. I'm looking. No. <laughs> you don't know what they call me. I've no idea. Some call me now. Don't say a more. And Surely, young boy, God, that's enough of your trickery. So it was you responsible for all the injuries, the pangs, and all the bitterness that up to now I've suffered because of love. It's time now to be happy. You've suffered enough. I have a haughty rival sworn to be the enemy of my weapons and my kingdom, and I mean to cause her downfall. Now I choose you. You should be my lieutenant. What are you saying? I in battles with women. Anything rather than that. I'd sooner have my teeth out. Be quiet now and listen. You're now on my island. 
Sounds interesting. How do they do it? Every day Diana purses with her limbs one by one under the tree. And as they do so, all the tree glows with light and the music and singing. If the girls have been virtuous, but if ever it should happen that one of them harbored any feelings of love, then the result would be different. The tree would strike them with its apples and would injure and destroy. Ah, oh, this lady Diana, she must be mad. I shall soon cut down the tree, then I'll seduce them for those lovely maidens. I'll see to her and her island and her garden. You will be powerless unless I choose to help you. Now let's do as I tell you. Do not go near that tree. I mean it. Do not go near that tree.
made such a bad bargain after all. Come over here and let me see your beauties close at hand. You moon, you stars of the feminine sex. To tell the truth, my girls, I find you all attractive with this fresh-looking blonde one, and that rather choppy one, and that dark one. Each one of them has something which is especially appealing. I should find it very hard to choose between them. You seems to be most natural, since all of you are women and very pretty, and I'm a true connoisseur in such matters that I should fall for all of you at once. Wretched man, what are you saying? I am Diana, the great goddess of chastity and the enemy of love. With the love, such impure thoughts are totally forbidden. You are hence for I think you must be joking, my dear charming lady. So don't be so provoking and give me a kiss. My dear charming lady, so don't be so provoking and give me a kiss. There's surely no harm in it, so why be disdainful? There's nothing so strange in it, I don't understand. I don't understand, no, no, I don't understand. Ravishing. The girls here are charming. We'll all get together. What things we could do. Yes, what things we could do. We'll all get together. What things we could do. What things. Ah, yes. What things we could do. What things you see. What things we could do. Upon the generic, you see here before you. Just give me your hearts now, and I'll give you mine. For ages I've longed to acquire a serrano. If I'm not mistaken, I've found one at last. Your beauty is ravishing. The girls here are charming. Let's all get together. What things we could do. What things we could do. Yes, what things we could do. So surely you're joking, but you're charming, lady. So don't be so provoking and give me a kiss. There's surely no harm in it, nothing so strange in it. Why be this day, but I don't understand. Don't be so provoking, just give me a kiss, just give me a kiss. No, don't be so provoking, just give me a kiss. No, don't be so provoking, just give me a kiss. No, don't be so provoking, just give me a kiss. Just give me a kiss. Yes, what is a kiss? Just give us a kiss.
and my bitch to tell me who to pay me now. Say to her. Frankly, I'm amazed. Very well. Now just watch this. 
Oh, help us, I'm finished. No, you're in so much of life. Oh, what does it all mean? I can't imagine. What happened? Where am I? My friends, please tell me which one of you has done me this kind of Look at me. And not at me either. Who was it, man? There was a girl here. I really can't believe it. What was she like, man? Like any girl you could mention. Pretty, ugly. Oh, pretty. More than pretty. I never saw her equal in my life. <laughs> Have been the goddess. What goddess? Well, did you hear her? Don't you know then that this is Diana's island? Don't you know all the tricks that she's played me, following her crazy notions? No, no we, we know, know nothing. nothing. Then listen, while I lay sleeping alone with my sheep, just how far away from here I've no idea. I was secretly abducted, possibly by the lady here who served her, and I found myself here. On waking, I see things I never dreamed of. A little fellow who calls himself Amore tries to explain. He vanishes, then comes the goddess. With her a bevy of beautiful young girls. Truly, each one of them made for procreation. <laughs> of course, I fall in love at once with all of them. So, of course, I address them with some suitable endearment. At once the Lady Diana flares up in anger, and suddenly I'm changed, just guessing to what? Into a pretty jasmine, or a lily, or a dog, perhaps, or a bird. No. Into a tree, a stupid, useless tree. Evil spirits, yes, or all of us, we must try to get away. Over here upon the water, there's a boat that we can take. By itself, the boat is gliding all alone, it comes away. In my castle, I'm in town, you'll go, young mortal, you'll stay, go, young mortal, you'll stay. Ah, beautiful, ah, grateful, who fit for me? I hear must stay. Who fit for me? 
crazy woman who is so angry with our girl's behavior looks capable of carrying out her threats. And what do you say? What should we say? Don't say me. Do you like her? Who? 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 Diana! If she were not a witch. For my part, I like her quite well. Ah, who could say? What joy, what delight, to behold such a sight. Every look speaks of love, every word in my heart. Ah, what joy, what delight, every look speaks of love, every word in my heart. Tell me why in a bosom no pity falls, tell me why. Every look speaks of love, every word in my heart. Of a joy, of delight, every look speaks of love, every word in my heart. Tell me why the bosom of pity's love, your pity's love. Every look speaks of love. I could do it. You would just be quiet. <laughs> but why? In my time, I've been rather successful. Tell you, be quiet. Take these. What, what must we do? Just go. And then? And then? Go now. The first one who has the good fortune to meet her again must secretly strike her in the heart with an arrow. And he alone will find his love is returned. I'm off then. I'm going. I'm certain now. Win her. Goodbye then, I'll go with them. I shouldn't bother. What? Let me go too. I want a chance to try my luck with Diana. <laughs> Don't you think I look like a man who's capable of striking the heart of a girl? Yes, I'm sure you are. Well then, why must I stay here doing nothing while they have all the fun? Because you must be mine. You? Yes, why not? Don't you find me to your taste? Just let me take a good look at you. Well, what is it? I think perhaps I know you. I think you might be a boy. <laughs> You're laughing. Yes, I'm laughing. Do you think that a boy would have such a cunning eye? Such a soft little hand? Such a tender complexion? Such pretty feet? But it's true, I have a brother who's very much like me. And his name is? Amore. Well, well, I'll have you know that Amore is my friend. We've done a great deal of business together. <laughs> ah, what a prospect to have such fine relations. Cupid for a brother-in-law, Venus for a mother-in-law. What could a man want more in the way of prospects? Let's get married. Oh, but when? This evening. But why not now? Because you must stay here, and I still have to finish the little thing with Diana. And afterwards you'll come back here. Yes, I'll be back. You'll have to. Take it. Nothing more. What would you have then, my heart? Ah, oh, it's clear that you're related to Cupid. You're not so. I'm sure that you're teasing. You must know their meaning. You must know their meaning. I do know. I do know. I know what they mean. And what do they mean? 
they tell you that you're not really And then what that you'd like to And then what that you want to That you'd like to That you'd want to And in exchange, dear, I beg you to please. Come closer, my dearest, to hold you this bliss. My dear one, you're trembling. My darling, I have no fear. I'm burning with passion. What trust me? What trust me? And all will be well. You look so devouring and kiss so overpowering. Pray, what do they mean? I'm sure that you're teasing. You must know their meaning. You must know their meaning. I don't know. I don't know. I know what they mean. And what do they tell you? That you love me. That you'd like to, and then what? That you want to, that you like to, that you'd want to, that you love to. Oh, no, my dear one, there is no more to say. My dear one, there is no more to say. My dear one, there is no more to say. I would never believe it if I hadn't seen it here with my own two eyes. Well, we must wait and see what develops. And meanwhile, I suddenly remember that today I haven't eaten. Yet I'm not hungry. I suppose in this forest they follow the custom of poets, eating their hopes and drinking dewdrops. <laughs> meanwhile, I still don't know what will happen if I walk here holding this ring. Let's see. What song is this I'm hearing? These lights and this sweet music. I swear if I'm not dreaming, they're mad as they can be.
It's just as I was saying, they're mad as they can be, they're mad as they can be. Here surrounds me, ah, beauty here surrounds me, a king henceforth I'll be.
must I stay here much longer? Listen to the Lord, for the sad difference. If I am ever upon the sea with him, not all things would be trouble. Well, of course, we could kill him. What? We could kill him! Cut his head off and take it to Diana. This is perhaps the best way now to pacify her anger. What are you two talking about? I listen to me, my friend. Heaven knows that we love you. Well, what then? But heaven also knows that it's not our fault. But something we must do. Calicia, you can explain. Oh, you can tell him. Someone's coming. Let's shoot him without warning. Do it quickly. This must be done. What are you doing? The gods save yourself and live your day. Traitors, I'll stop. Ah! Merciful heavens, I can't believe it. My friend, it's getting worse here every minute. Let's leave here at once and escape while we can. The longer we stay here, the worse things are getting. There's danger all around us. We're risking our lives. Escape while we can, yes, but where do we go? You see, we're surrounded in every direction. And nothing can help us find the way we should go. Could you then this the deployed with fear? I'm tempted to trick them. Only leads us straight back to the temple. The goddess is dwelling, he's dwelling in the valley. This alley looks promising. Come quickly, let's go. Come quickly, let's go. No, 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 no. It echoes around us, it echoes around us. The spirits are hiding in every respect. I'm frozen with terror and trembling with horror. What more? From here it answers yes, and there it answers no. Perhaps we should stay here. Perhaps we ought to go. From here it answers yes, and there it answers no. Perhaps we should stay here. Perhaps we ought to go. Perhaps we ought to go. We ought to go. We ought to go. No, 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 Perhaps we ought to go. Perhaps we ought to go. Perhaps we ought to go. Should stay here. Ought to go. Answers yes. Answers no. 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 Take your cheek. Just where have you sprung from? From the same place as you yourself just now. So you were the one who was leading us on? Yes, sir. I am the source of the yes and no. But surely we've had enough. Take pity on us now and tell us where we are and how to find our way out of this place. Be patient a little longer. Very soon things will change for the better and you'll find all your torments transformed into Peace and 
chasing her for hours with no results at all. There's no sign of the girls. Silvio's disappeared and I don't know where he's gone. I can't get a single word out of this one. She's not exactly cheerful. Do I have to wait much longer? Oh, this is madness. This sighing in those glances. It's quite obvious that she's fallen for my charms. And that shows that she has good taste. All right, we'll see then. Sometimes it's really necessary to find something to do, some entertainment to avoid being idle. She's pretty, she's young, but best of all, though, she's silent. <laughs> and that's a virtue women rarely possess. I'd like to marry her, but I think I promised the other one. Well, if the Turks have so many, surely I might have two. Well, pretty creature, she sighs and nods her head. That's a good start. Don't you think I'm rather handsome? There now, she's smiling, and you quite like my company. There, she says yes. Well then, this is what we'll do. Let's see if gestures will help us make love. This ought to make it clear. Do you understand me? I thought so. What does that mean? Do I understand you? Certainly I do. For in matters of love, let me tell you, my girl, I'm quite a master. A signal from your eyes A gentle touch is quite enough A pressure of your hand You only need to slap my face Or hit me in some other place I shall know what you mean I shall know what you mean Yes, yes, I shall know what you mean You will mean I love you Won't you love me too? You will be my darling, I am yours forever. You are the world to me, yes, yes, you are the world to me. Your wish is icy clearly, just in the way you smile, and in your modest blushes, and the look that's in your eye, your little anxious movements, your gestures of distress. Your gestures of distress, your gestures of distress. Take this ring, my darling, I place it on your finger. You need 
didn't look so shy, my dear. We're wife and husband now, my dear. Now your lips are mine, dear. Give me a tender kiss. Now your lips are mine, dear. Give me a tender kiss. Give me a tender kiss. Give me a tender kiss. Ow! <laughs> it was only a kiss. You needn't slap so hard. Slap nothing to what's in store. You mean there's more? Then kill me straight away. Soon you'll know all about it. Now I must hurry. Diana's come. Stay where you are. And I shall make it seem to her that you're just rocks and trees. But I beg you, don't betray us. Just put your trust in me. You may now have back the use of your tongue. Nothing! What's the matter with you? If you had left us silent, I was thinking of marrying her. If you did that, I'd see that she had seven tongues. Ooh. Every moment that passes brings some new tribulation. By new sensations, I feel myself invaded. I'm mocked and abandoned by all my faithless nymphs. I don't understand myself any more than the others. But the hour is approaching that my priest has appointed to meet me in secret at this place. Until he comes, I can bathe in the pool here. I'll hang my cloak up on this nearby rock as a sign. If he comes before I finish, he will know where I am. My boat, I will leave close to the entrance. A delightful spot indeed. It's a perfect place to further love's design. While Diana's in the pool, we can have a little fun. Sing after me now. How to raise her voice. Quickly now, they both may come. And you know that you lie here. Just a minute. Now sleep until Diana awakens you. You hide in there. You go with the nymphs and run to the temple. My friends, is it that just my luck? One woman's too many, and now I have three.
who threw this. What danger still surrounds me? Away, away. Believe me 
great with God. See, in what manner can your faithful priest and guide be of service? Ah, oh, my faithful Archbishop, do but heed my distress. An unknown power is working in this island to overthrow my kingdom and destroy my power. I found men here in my garden. My nymphs were with them. Their sacred vows forgotten. Vain was my anger and vain my threat. My nymphs all made fun of me and left me. Their vows are broken and love now consumes them. Oh, heavens! What is the cause of this dreadful transformation? A power that is stronger than I has overcome me also. I do fear that I mean now. You know, the goddess Diana. But where could you find a man who is worthy of your noble heart? First, let me warn you. At least you should test his faith before you give him your love. Ah, oh, but I know it from his words. His love. Nonetheless, he deceived you. No, you're mistaken. I, Alcindo, has sworn to serve Diana. And do you trust him no longer? <laughs> now hear me. By my art, I shall call your nymphs to the tree where the rites were performed. There, as before, let them take the test that demonstrates their virtue. You will have proof and great goddess of what you refuse to believe when I tell you. Come with me. So be it. And may the gods forgive me. And the hills make reply.
And the 